Welcome to the British Steel Challenge, welcome to Banbridge Town, and welcome to the third division of Northern Irish football. My name's Tony, and in this video, we're gonna have an end of season review of season one, which we've been live streaming over on Twitch. Link, of course, in the description below. You'll see as this video goes on that we've actually had various members of the playing staff join the stream, which is quite good fun, but it does add an extra level of pressure to an otherwise already difficult save. If you need to get up to speed with what the British Steel Challenge is, or you want to familiarise yourself with the playing staff at Banbridge Town, do yourself a favour, drop back and watch episode one, and while you're there, make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, leave a comment below, come back and join us over here on episode two. If you've already watched episode one, we might as well crack on with it. So this is Banbridge Town. As you can see, expectations are super low. We are expected to avoid relegation, which is fantastic, because if we do get relegated, there's no Division 4. And that means we have to start looking around for another job. And given the fact we have 32 trophies to win, that's going to slow us down. In terms of tactics, we're keeping it super simple. We're keeping it agricultural. We're keeping it away from anyone who can actually play football. 4-4-2, counter-attack. As you can see, we're embracing the low block. No tick attack around here. We're expected to be relegated, so we're expected to battle. We have played a 4-4-2, but we've now decided to drop Oggy back um, and play him in a DM role. Play him a little bit deeper, give him a bit more sort of cover defensively. Because obviously Downey can get up a bit if he wants, and then Crosskery can get up as well. And then there you go, then that turns into a 4-3-3. And then towards the end of the season, we actually stumbled across this, which worked out quite handy for us. Double DMs gave us a bit of defensive solidity. Obviously, McGavitt's doing all the running. He's the main outlet up top on his own. But Crosskery and Downey, both wingers on attack, can get forward if needs be, help support Michael McGavitt in that number 10 role. And to be fair, it ends up playing a little bit like a 4-2-3-1, if you think about it. In terms of how the season went... As I say, we weren't expected to do much. We drew our opening match against Dollingstown oh, and lost 2-1 oh, to Ballymacash Rangers, who would actually end the season promoted as runners-up. Our first win of the season came against the Police Service of Northern Ireland. It was a rousing 3-0 win in front of 74 fans. Goals from Connor Downey and two for Chris Cowan gave us the points. We'll take it. Cowan with a great strike from distance that the keeper's probably got to do better. And it's the keeper again, a wild punch. Cowan gets a bit fortunate and smashes it in for three. We followed that result up with a 3-1 win away at Limavardi. This time, Stephen McGavitt was on the score sheet as was Niall Cassidy, who bagged a brace. This is the pinnacle of entertainment. Um, there's Cassidy again. <laughs> oh. We suffered a 4-3 home defeat to Queen's University, which sort of knocked the stuffing out of us a little bit. Having gone 2-0 down, Stephen McGavitt pulled one back. Puts it back outside to Edgar. As I think about it, whips the cross in. McGavitt it. Before the visitors extended their lead to 3-1. Niall Cassidy responded almost instantly. But Josh Corey made it 4-2 on the stroke of half-time. Niall Cassidy got a late consolation penalty. It's a penalty. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. But it wasn't Spot enough. Spot it home. As I say, this may have had an adverse psychological effect on the team as we actually lost our next five matches in a row. It's not great form when you realise the save starts to attract a little bit of attention from the Bambridge team. And Connor Downey appears in the chat. Very weird watching you use me as a player on FM, but I'm hooked. Downey, which one are you? Which one are you? Tell me. Are you Connor? Are you Connor? 
Downey, tell me this is you, man. Yes, it is. Get in. <laughs> Connor Downey's one of us. Right, Connor, here's the question, right? You are, you are player slash physio. Is that correct? <laughs> and if so, what happens when someone gets injured? Do you have to run off and get the box and the magic sponge and come back on and then like sort of like sort them all down and run back off? Is that how it works? Correct, used to, but thankfully we've got a new one. Oh, wow. So you would have had to run off then. That's amazing. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Check your goal. This is a finish. Connor, right? Incredible technique here. Look at that. Oh, you've got your head over it. You've got your body arched. You've like swung straight through, smashed it straight past in. Whilst Connor's presence may not have inspired an instant turnaround, it did coincide with Stephen McGavitt becoming the main man. It seemed without his goals, we'd be in even bigger trouble than we were already heading for. And that's what was becoming increasingly frustrating. We're just lacking a little bit of luck or a bit of quality. And if we just stop it, pause it here. So at the minute, we're fairly well set up, right? We're fairly well set up. One, two, three, centre back, three, three defenders there. There's your fourth. He could maybe be doing a little bit tighter personally, right? Okay, there he comes towards him. So again, he's not really, this guy's not really got many places to go, right? He can only really play the ball here. And then by that point, it's going to take a great ball to get back into here for him to turn around, get in that space, and for this ball not to be cut out by either of these two defenders, right? Yeah. Let's just roll it on. No, no one thought of to look at the fella who was just going to run from behind. And they put the ball up over the top he's already on his bike right he's already on this bike okay who's your man here it's leopard it's another center half this is a guy that we've got in on loan because our other center half isn't good enough so our line looks reasonable we've told everyone to drop deep a little bit because we thought right we're at home seven minutes in the match we don't want to be sat too deep because we invite too much pressure we'll step up brilliant idea we're a goal down here we go defender 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 right back center back center back guess where the ball's going behind the right back here which means that center back stepped up and all of a sudden there's just grass to run into okay he gets his head up here really we've either got to sort of press him now force him down there so he has to take a shot across the goal or he's gonna have to pull it back like that <laughs> to this guy who now has all this space, right? Now, he's not gonna shoot from there, is he? Yes, he is. <laughs> center back, right, center back and right back are just here. This man here has got loads of space. Right midfield is not quite tight. It's just dropping right midfield and now figures I'll get close to him. Or shall I not? I'll go to the ball instead. Runner comes off, thinks again. You're not going to score from here. You are not scoring from here. The angle isn't isn't for you. Apparently it is. I suggested me Lewis Hunter as captain. I mean, he's had two he's had two clean sheets. I understand that now, but Hunter, you should make me captain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Hunter's in the chat. <laughs> oh mate, welcome in. Welcome in. You're not going to believe this. You you got you got a kick up the backside uh, earlier on as well, because you, your form started to drop a little bit. Your form started to drop a bit, but I always believed in you. I stuck with you, right? Look at this. You've got an average rating of seven out of ten so far this season. Right? Ignore the 22 goals conceded, because they've not all been your fault, right? They've not all been your fault. We've had some matches where you have just. I'll be honest, the centre halves have let you down, right? The centre halves have let you down, right? It's not your fault at all. Downey told me about the stream. <laughs> By the halfway point of the season, things had taken a turn for the worst. We were sitting precariously in 11th position, one place off the bottom. If only we could just hang on for a few more games, we'd be safe. Look, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be around the bush. This is gonna be tough, right? This is gonna be a tough end to the season. Um We've not, we've not played badly. I, I'll be honest, we've not played badly, okay? We've just been unlucky. We've... Right. We're stepping off.
We should really be closing down. Balls over the top. Right. Oh, there's the mistake. That's the bit of stupidity. Good ball out to Crossgury. Put the ball in the middle. <laughs> yes. Those changes haven't even taken shape yet, and McCavitt's managed to smash the ball in. What can you do? Snodden pings it up top. McCavitt, can he find someone in the middle? <laughs> yes, he can. Yes, he can. A morale-crushing defeat at the hands of Myola Park, who eventually went on to win the league, meant that we headed into the match at home to second place banger, fearing the worst. But what happened that afternoon will go down in Bambridge folklore. Hamilton. Hamilton. McCavitt! We've taken the lead against the top of the table. We have to, obviously. James McCavitt just a midfield on attack, see that works behind. Behind the other McCavitt, balls at the top. <laughs> we played them off the park and we got ourselves a 2-1 win. Who else but Stephen McGavitt grabbing both goals? I mean, that's a ball and a half. The two McCavitts confusing everybody. Nobody knows who to pick up. And there we go, there we go. No, 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 not like this, not like this. Just just sit on it, just do do not move the ball. Not this way, not this way, not this way. Can't that's right. It's away. Ball's away. Come on, ref, blow for, blow for time, blow for time. Right, there we go. That should be it. That should be it now. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. We learned, however, not to get too carried away as our next match was against bottom of the table, PSNI. 11th plays 12th. If we win, we go up to 9th. Here's Hamilton. McCavitt. Rolls in. <laughs> down, he's got it. Right, they're coming at us. This is a problem, okay? This is a problem. Ah! All over the top. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, not like this, not like this. Ears off, ears off. A match we drew one all. Not the worst result we think. Better than nothing. Respect the point, respect the point. Outplayed, absolutely outplayed. They missed a penalty, they're a goal disallowed. They will feel pissed off about that. Especially as we beat Armar 2-1, which means as long as we avoid defeat on the final day against Tobamori, who had just slipped to third, then we'd be safe. Inside, McCavitt picks it up. There's Oggy, go for it. <laughs> Excellent strike. Wild deflection on the way in. Look at this. Clearly hits the defender on the way in. Keeper's got to do better, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Police service are 2 0 down against Miola. That helps. As it stands, as it stands, as it stands, we are safe. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> right, Crosscurry is starting to tire a bit as well. Nice header. Back inside. Penalty ref, come on, surely. Is he not going to give that? Apparently not. Oh, we're covered. <laughs> what a goal that is. What a goal that is. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not this. Not this. We don't want to have a bloody... 
corner. The seconds to go. <gasps> We've stayed up. And we've not even finished second bottom either. We've overtaken Dollingsden at this point. We drew nil-nil. There's the final whistle blue. We celebrate. We've got a draw. Evans got 7.3 on his debut. <sighs> but those celebrations were short-lived because no one told me there was five more games to go because the league splits in half. Or I hadn't read the rules. Either or. Oh, hang on. There's a next stage split. What's happening here? Like, what, do we have to go into another bit? Relegation group. Why has nobody told us this? <laughs> oh, here we are having a great time being like, ah, oh, this is brilliant. We've like, we're not that far from the title. All of a sudden, there's a relegation group. Joy turned to anger, which then turned back to joy again, as we celebrated the class of 2023. And look at this for a youth intake. Youth kids, youth kids, youth kids. Now I know this is like, in, in comparison to our team, we've got a three star player already. And he's a center back. <gasps> oh, he's here and he's perfect. 15 years old. Bravery of 17, leadership of 10. We've got a leader. Toby Andrews, leadership of 14. Work rate of 12, teamwork of 10. Acceleration of 14. Josh Hamilton, look at, he's got <gasps> Like, he's actually brilliant. <laughs> he's actually brilliant. 14 for tackling, 13 for determination, 14 for decisions, 14 for bravery, 13 for leadership. What is happening? He's got a Mohawk at 15. This is insane. I think we've got a right back. I think we've got a left back, sorry. Technique and tackling of 12, teamwork of 18, work rate of 15. They say if you're good enough, you're old enough. And these kids are about to star in the five most important matches in Bambridge's history. And also the five most important matches so far of this save. Pedden whips it in. And in the final five matches, we draw with Port Stewart. No one's anywhere near him, though. Just... Nobody was anywhere near. Nobody's anywhere near. Oh. Up on his own is Andrews. And cut back inside. Oggy. Youngson. Oh. Connor Downey. Gets the equaliser. 90 seconds to go. We lose to our mark. To stand them up, stand them up. Oh, hell. Great finish. Police are winning. They close the gap to four points. Disappointing. They won 1 0 against Limavardi. Game over. We draw 0 0 with nil. Limavardi. Police versus Port Stewart, us versus Dollingstown. Just got to go for it. The police are winning. The police are winning. They've got a penalty after five minutes. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. There is no way they have pulled this out of the bag. How they've suddenly pulled out three wins. I guess that's relegation in itself, isn't it? That's what happens. There's McCabot. 2 0 for the police. If we win, Port Stewart could go down instead. God, that is tight. That is tight. Bambridge up to ninth. McCavitt through, deflects over the top. Port Stewart are losing 3-0 now to the police service. So we need to keep where we are. Pushing the back, was it? 
No, apparently not. If we win, we're safe on goal difference. Is that it? Have we done it? Have we stayed up? And we grab three points with a win against Dollingstown. I don't think mathematically we've done it. Still not yet. Still not yet. Yes, they're on good form. Yes, they've won their last three matches in a row. How? How? No idea, but... At that point, you'd be forgiven for thinking we'd done enough to stay up. We're in the driving seat. A point is enough. We're at home. So the police service have got no idea what to do away from home. We're at home. Dollingstown are at home to Armagh. Port Stewart are at home to Limavardi. We need to avoid defeat on the last day of the season. Otherwise, we're relegated and I'm out of a job. There's nothing else we can say. We've just got to go for it. As you can imagine, that match wasn't stressful at all. Let's see. A draw should be enough. Downey is deflated over the top. Port Stewart have equalised against Limavardi, but they're down to 10 men now. Youngson, McCavitt, Crossgury, Oggy. Back to Youngson, McCavitt took a touch, didn't need to take a touch, didn't need to take a touch. Snodden, McCavitt goes up for it, misses it sadly. Pulls through, more, oh no! Evans has given away a penalty. kidding me right so Dollingstown are losing to Armagh 1-0 and obviously Port Stewart are losing to Limavardi we're losing the ball in the midfield nicely headed through McGavitt's just not getting in it is he Youngson ball from the outside of his foot McGavitt and tees it up, headed away. Just about got the ball away, just about got the ball away. Have we? Oh, that was... All right, I'm gonna drop Michael McCavitt back into the center midfield just to see if we can get an extra body in there, pick the ball up because... Oh, what a save. What a save. Great tackle. Oggy gets it. Down the line, McGavitt. <sighs> How's he put the ball wide there? Everyone who's here is... <sighs> tension. Absolute tension. There we go. <laughs> That'll do. 21 shots. 21 shots. Never in doubt. We are safe. <laughs> what an end to a season. We finished ninth somehow. And there we have it. We've survived on the last day of the season. A little bit of drama. That's what you want in these sorts of saves, isn't it, to be honest? So no trophies so far out of the 33 that we're expected to win. We go again in season two hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel of course and leave a comment below about where you think we might end up in season two and where you think we might need to strengthen i think i need to lie down after that one to be honest take care everyone see you soon for season two of the british steel challenge